choosing the right programming language to learn can make or break your tech career. In this video, I'm counting down the top 5 programming languages that you should learn in 2025. Let me tell you, these are not just random picks. I've researched about job trends, real world use cases and what's driving the tech industry forward. And every language on this list is backed by trends, surveys and real job demands. Let's jump straight in. Starting off at number 5, we have Rust. Now, Rust might not be the most popular language, uh, but it offers exceptional performance and memory safety. Rust is all about safety and performance. Companies are using it for blockchain, gaming and system level programming. Did you know Rust has been voted the most loud programming language on Stack Overflow for 7 years straight? That's not an accident, it's because developers love its reliability and how it prevents bugs like uh, uh, memory leaks, which are a huge headache in other programming languages like C and C++. In fact, Rust was developed to address the issues that developers faced with C and C++ such as memory errors and concurrent program development. You can say Rust is a modern alternative to C and C++. So Rust is perfect if you're serious about high performance systems. Coming in at number 4, C Sharp, the backbone of many enterprise applications and the gaming industry. C Sharp is a versatile language. You can build web applications, desktop applications, cloud-based systems and games using Unity. And let's not forget about the enterprise world. The .NET ecosystem keeps getting better with every release. Plus Microsoft Azure is making it easier for developers to deploy C Sharp applications to the cloud. So C Sharp developers are always in demand and that's not going to change anytime soon. So that's why C Sharp is in our top five list at number four. Number three is the old but gold Java. Look, I know some people say uh, Java is outdated, but let me stop you right there. Java is still a big deal, especially in industries like banking and healthcare. You know, it's reliable and stable and most importantly, enterprises trust Java for large scale applications. Android applications built with Java, the banking systems running on Java. If you want job security and the ability to work on massive projects, Java is what you're looking for. At number two, we've got JavaScript, the language that powers the internet. I mean, literally JavaScript runs the web. It's on the client side, the server side, and even in mobile applications. With frameworks like React, Angular, and Node.js, it has become the ultimate full stack language. You see, JavaScript is popular because it's versatile, beginner friendly, and it has a massive community because JavaScript is here since the internet was born. Now imagine the kind of community it has got. You're building a website or mobile applications or even a real-time chat applications, JavaScript has got you covered. There's no slowing down for JavaScript, it's here to stay. And finally, taking the crown at number one, Python. I mean, how could it not be? It's the king of data science, machine learning, neural network, artificial intelligence, automations, web development, and you name it. You know, companies like Instagram, Google, YouTube, Netflix, and even NASA uses Python for their systems. And also its library support is unmatched. You know, it has got a thousands of powerful libraries like Pandas, NumPy, uh, Matplotlib, TensorFlow. You know, these libraries makes your life easier. Python is also perfect for beginners thanks to its easy to read syntax. Oh, and don't forget, it's the most popular language on the TOB index. Well, what is TOB index? It's a ranking system that measures the popularity of programming languages, uh, you know, based on the things like the number of search results, tutorials and courses, uh, you know, and developers actively using the uh, language. So based on that, it decides which programming language is most, you know, popular. So in other words, Python isn't just trending, it's uh, dominating the industry. So there you have it, the top five programming languages to learn in 2025. Each of these programming languages has its own unique strength uh, and which one you pick depends on what you want to achieve. With that said, what do you think of this list? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and share this video with anyone who is deciding what to learn next.